Welcome to Tethered Thoughts with Bossa De Santos, your daily podcast where I deliver powerful God truths to fuel your success. My name is Bossa De Santos, your host, and I'm honored to journey with you towards attaining a success mindset. I lead Romans 8 19 Ministries, where we equip Christians to know who they are and what they have in Christ so they can live audacious and impactful lives. In each bite-sized episode, we'll dive into scriptures which affirm the mindsets which have propelled successful leaders, innovators, and visionaries to the heights they've attained. Join me every weekday for a quick, potent dose of eternal wisdom meets contemporary success. Hello friends and fellow world changers, it's Friday. Looking forward to an awesome weekend. The title of today's episode is How Our Choices Shape Our Future. And our focus scripture is Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. And I'll read from the message translation today. It goes like this. Don't be misled. No one makes a fool of God. What a person plants, he will harvest. The person who plants selfishness, ignoring the needs of others, ignoring God, harvests a crop of weeds. All he'll have to show for his life is weeds. But the one who plants in response to God, letting God's spirit do the growth work in him, harvests a crop of real life, eternal life. This principle of uh, sowing and reaping applies not just to our spiritual lives, but also to our everyday choices whether at work or in our personal lives. We, what we invest our time, energy, and resources into will ultimately determine the outcomes we experience. Our decisions today shape our future and making intentional godly choices is key to living a successful life. Kathy Treat, a successful businesswoman and philanthropist, always felt a deep calling to um, support children in need, especially those without families. Growing up in a Christian household, she was taught the importance of giving back and sowing into other people's lives. Early in her career, Kathy began supporting adoption and foster care initiatives, believing that investing in the lives of vulnerable children would reap a harvest of hope and transformation. Despite personal challenges, including financial setbacks and health struggles, Kathy remained committed to her cause. She poured her resources, time and energy into helping children find safe, loving homes, even when the results weren't immediately visible. Over time, her effort led to the establishment of several programs and partnerships that have helped place thousands of children with adoptive parents. Kathy's story reflects the principle of Galatians 6 verse 7. What she sowed through her faith, love and dedication eventually yielded a significant impact on the lives of many. And her legacy continues as those she helped are now building strong families of their own, creating a ripple effect of love and care for generations. Her journey is a testimony to the power of sowing seeds in faith and trusting God for the harvest. What are the key takeaways and success principles here? Every choice we make, whether at work or at home, is planting a seed. The harvest that follows, whether good or bad, depends on what we've sown. Investing in integrity, kindness and hard work will lead to positive outcomes, while shortcuts of unethical behaviour may yield short-term gains but long-term consequences. Just as seeds take time to grow, the rewards of good decisions may not be immediate, but will come with patience and perseverance. Some practical life applications. At work, be intentional about sowing seeds of integrity, diligence, and teamwork. Avoid shortcuts or unethical decisions, knowing that they may produce negative long-term effects on your career or company culture. In personal relationships, focus on sowing love, forgiveness and understanding in your relationships. 
When you invest in others positively, you will reap stronger, healthier connections. For personal growth, sow into your personal and spiritual development by reading, learning and growing in your faith and skills. And over time, this consistent investment will yield a harvest of wisdom and success. In conclusion, today's verse, Galatians 6-7, reminds us that the seeds we sow today will determine the harvest we reap tomorrow. Every decision we make has a consequence. By sowing good seeds of integrity, kindness and perseverance, we align ourselves with God's principles for success and growth. It's not always easy to see immediate results, but just like a farmer waiting for crops to grow, patience and consistency will bring a fruitful harvest in time. Make it a priority to sow wisely in every area of life and trust that God's promise of reaping what we sow will lead to a future filled with success, growth and fulfillment. Now here's a declaration to make and meditate on throughout today. I declare, I sow seeds of integrity, love and diligence in every area of my life. I trust in God's promise that what I sow, I also reap. My decisions today are shaping a future filled with blessings and success. I walk in wisdom, sowing wisely, and I reap a harvest of God's favor. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for listening and taking action. I trust this episode has impacted you. Please subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Also, if you know anyone who could use these truths, please share with them and be sure to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Jesus entrusts us with the responsibility of being salt and light in the world. Both traits are nouns and verbs, who to be and what to do. Romans 8, 19 says, The world is waiting for us to demonstrate God. So go out, make a difference today, even if it's just one heart at a time. May the grace of God empower you, his wisdom instruct you, and his love secure you. In Jesus' name, thank you and God bless. Have a restful weekend and see you again next week. Thank you.